morning, everyone. Live from Nigeria. Just trying to stay cool. I just put my hair because it's so hot. So hot. I even put makeup on because I literally like it melts off of me. You see, I'm like all red. It's like so hot. Um, I was going to show you uh, a little bit of uh, where I live. Um, this is like the wardrobe in the closet. And I don't know what you're supposed to use that for. It's so high up. Can you use it? Uh, all we really have uh, here is we have a bed. We have a bed. Um, until I came, no blankets. Um, I brought two little blankets. I brought the one that my cousin Crystal gave me, my minky, and a little red one. Uh, because uh, Sam hasn't had blankets. If he got cold, he would just pile the pillows. Uh, two pillows on him to try and keep out the cold um because can't afford blankets um this is what keeps us cool and if the generator goes down um we don't have power and we don't have air our area power we're lucky if we get power a couple hours a day sometimes not at all for a couple days and then they'll give us power for like six hours at night but for the most part, we live 95% of the time with no power given by the town. You know, you have to pay for power. Um, so we're running off of a generator right now, which takes gas. Um, this is the bathroom. The shower does not work. It doesn't work. Um, these are our buckets of water. Um, earlier today, water ran out in the compound. So every m month, it's or week every week it's someone else's turn in the compound to use their generator to pump the water to the whole compound the guy that was supposed to do it this week um, was gone and so sam just pumped it for the compound so i think we should have water now um our buckets are almost uh almost, are pretty much almost empty yeah, so i'll start putting the buckets back up um and use this to and it's broken broken that we take water to shower like that um yeah that's that's the thing um so yeah i brought my towel my sister made me i got the towel that she made me um yeah i'll take you to see the kitchen so we walk out, it's dark, sorry. And we walk in, this is the, the kitchen room. Now you can hear the generator, because it's right outside this door. But we cook on a cooktop. And use this, we have two burners. Um, we, we basically keep a supply of noodles. They're like top ramen noodles, because um, we eat, noodles, egg, um, we can't really afford uh, meat right now, a lot of meat, so we eat noodles and we eat a lot of egg. Um, earlier today I had corned beans, which is a thick chili, because it's really cheap. Um, so this is the only cupboard that there is in the whole place. Um, we need to do the dishes. We have a kettle. Um, that's it. No refrigerator, no microwave. That's that's really that's it. We have this, and we have that. These are our only these are our only pans to cook in. We have two pans, a pot, and this. This is not alcohol, by the way. This is a non-alcoholic malt drink. Sam does not drink alcohol. Um, but outside this door is the generator. You can hear it. Um, that is what is giving us our power. This is giving us our power. Um, and we walk out this door. And we have 
a, a dining space, but no dining table or anything. There's nothing here. And then we have, they call it the follow, which is the living room. Um, we have a couch set because uh, Sam's uncle passed away and his dad brought it for, for Sam. But it's the only furniture we have besides the bed. Um, so, hold on. Um, we have a little chair and we have a little couch and a little couch. Um, that is, that's our only furniture in the house. We have no television, no television, no stereo, no nothing like that, no carpets, no rugs, nothing. We just have the three couches and the bed is our only, uh, is our only, uh, furniture. Um, I got this. The woman at the foundation gave this to me as a gift. It's a butterfly. It's purple and blue that one of the kids at the foundation made. So this is our only piece of decoration, which is, you know, um, and then this is like the entry and you know, the our bedroom, the, the room goes back there. We have a roommate. Um, and then there's a, a, a half bath here. This is a, a half bath. Um, we haven't been able to put anything over the window because, you know, cost money. So this is, I'll take you out the front door. They always lock us inside. Sam always locks us in. And come out here and this is uh, okay, and then this is this stays locked as well. So if we want to leave, we have to unlock this, and we relock the padlock. Um, let's see. If you want to do laundry, you have to use your bucket and wash your clothes, um, and then hang them there. We don't have furniture or anything to sit out here. Or nothing. Sometimes we'll sit right here on this little this little concrete piece. <laughs> Um, and this is our little compound here on kind of these, um, this is the big compound gate to get in. Um, and then there's like four units going down. One person that lives here has a car, which is nice for them. Um, and lock it back in, lock it back up. So this is, uh, this is home. It's a, uh, right now the, the heat and humidity is so bad. It's so bad. Um, it's very hot. It's very, very hot. Um, so yeah. Um, this is home in Nigeria. but there are people that live with less in smaller space with a lot less. So it's, we're, we're lucky we even have a couch. We're so lucky that his dad got it from his uncle's house when he passed away so we could have a couch. Um, At night, the mosquitoes are so bad. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to see, but my feet and my arms and my hands, even my hands, I mean, you see them have mosquito, I have a big one right, uh, right under my ring. Um, I have mosquito bites all over my body, my thighs, my back, my butt. Um, I have mosquito bites everywhere. And, um, like, it, especially at night when it's kind of like, uh, I don't know what it is about night, but they all, like, everything is on fire. Like, they start to burn and itch and, oh my gosh, it's awful at night. Yeah. Just a day in the life in Nigeria. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Um, I'll, I'll show you more. I'll show you more as we go or do things. And yeah, I hope you all are staying inside and staying safe and healthy, most importantly. And my message will be quite often similar as appreciate what you have. Appreciate what you have. Um, yeah. All right, y'all. I'll see you all soon. Love you. Bye.